Hello YouTube, today we're going to be changing the front brake pads on this 2014 CBR500R and it's ABS Model 2. So it's probably going to be the same from 2013 to about 2021 when they went to dual discs in the front. But even that, you're still going to set up the same way where you can just do it on the other side as well. So these are the pads I got from my local Honda dealer. They're not OEM. I usually like to run OEM pads, but I'm going to give these a try because they didn't have that. First, I'm going to take this tab right here that's holding this ABS wire to this module, to the sensor, and lean that back so I can pull that out. Then I'm going to break this uh, slide screw loose. and back it out just to where the thread stops spinning like that then I'm going to take these two 12 millimeter headed bolts here and loosen those up And then I'm just going to remove both those bolts. Once those bolts are removed, you can slide the caliper off the disc. And then you can see your brake pads there. So all will now take I'm using a tie rod but you can use a screwdriver or you can use like a brake caliper separator and you're going to push those pads back into the caliper and while you're doing this also check here you do not want this thing to overflow and spill brake fluid all down your paint or anything so I'm checking how much fluids in there I know there's enough that it's low enough that it won't do that but I squeeze these back and I think that might be enough I'm not sure until I put the new pads in but I'm going to pull this pin out so hold the brake pads down and just keep sliding it back and once that pins out, you can start removing your pads. So they just pull this way. You can see how much pad material is left on that. It's, it's almost completely gone. But it's not metal to metal yet. And same on this side. This one's pretty close to going to metal right here. Now always check this clip here. Make sure that clip is still in good condition. If it's not, replace it. If you don't replace it, you're going to get a lot of brake squeal. Like when you touch the brakes, it's going to squealing. Okay, so now I'm going to take my new pads. You can see the difference there. I'm going to slide this, I'm going to do the inside one first, but I'm going to slide this into the caliper slide there. I'm going to do the same with this side. You make sure that they're both level. Like that, so they're both level right there. And then I'm going to wipe this pin down and then grease it. Okay, so now you've got your new pads in there. And you're going to push them down a little bit. And you use just a little bit of grease on this thing. Don't put a lot of grease on that because you don't want to mix grease with pads. And as you're pushing that down, it's 
going to go through. It's hard to do because you want to push down while you're pushing the pin through. So. Okay, so now they're both through. Just spread the pads as good as you can. Okay. You should have enough space there to slide it back onto the disc. Like that. And now you're going to put these bolts back in. Just by hand. You're just going to hand tighten these things up. Put your ABS line back into the fork. And take your pliers and crush that back up again. good and now I'm going to go back to that bolt the slide bolt that's for the brakes and I'm going to tighten that up first the reason you do that is because if you're going to get any binding at all you're going to notice it right away and you won't have to take these off again and then once that's tight I pump up the brakes just keep pumping till it gets firm. And now I'm going to tighten up these bolts here. And then these should be torqued to 18 foot pounds to me and then you should be able to spin your wheel like that if it's hard like if you can't if it's hard to turn then your pads are not the the pucks that go push your pads in are holding it up you need to rebuild that or take it apart push them all out clean it all up and then push it back together again when you're all done with that you come up to here And you've got a little window on your brakes right here. You're going to want to see fluid in that. To me, that looks a little low. I'll probably remove this and fill that up, but I will end up flushing that old fluid out and putting new fluid in. So after that, you can just go for a test drive and have some fun. Remember to like, subscribe, comment down below.